Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Hat. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at part three of our synonym unit, and we're going to be selecting synonyms in context. So this is going to be testing us again on our knowledge of word definitions, our ability to recognize words, and our skills in selecting an appropriate synonym. So for the approach, it's good to be thinking about the definition of a word, and importantly, the whole sentence and the surrounding words. Again, we'll work through it in a process of elimination that starts from left and moves over to the right of the information presented. So what is a synonym? A word that has the same meaning or a similar meaning to another word. Okay, we know that. But appropriate synonyms can depend on the context of the sentence. So let's have a look at an example. Let's look at some synonyms for the word whole. So we've got crater, gap, cave, tear, tunnel. And now I'm going to give you a sentence. I want you to think about what would be the most appropriate synonym to replace it. So there is a hole in the road. We want to get rid of hole and we want to choose another word. So crater, crater suggests a kind of big hole that has a bottom that's not endless. You have craters on the moon, for example. So crater could work. It suggests that things could fall into it. Gap. Gap suggests the road is coming apart. Kind of in on the tube, you're told to mind the gap. And between the train and the platforms, so that suggests a distance between two things that are separate. So I'm not sure if that works. Cave. In this context, for a cave to be in the road, that would be quite strange. You normally find caves in mountainsides. Tear. That suggests that the road is made of fabric. And then tunnel. Well, you do get tunnels around roads. You get roads that go into tunnels, but it doesn't seem appropriate in this context. So I think the one that fits the most is crater. There is a crater in the road because it suggests this, this big but quite shallow hole that cars could kind of fall into. Next one, there is a hole in my jumper. So I want to replace hole. Now here crater sounds a bit odd because we associate craters with land. Gap, as with previously, suggests that it's two separate mediums. Cave, it's impossible to have a cave in your jumper. Tear, that seems right, because tear is associated with fabric. We can picture a tear in a jumper. And tunnel, again, it's impossible to have a tunnel in your jumper. So the appropriate one here is there is a tear in my jumper. So the context of a sentence then is the setting of a word. So the words that come before and after a word and that clarify its meaning. So here, the really important parts of the, sec of the sentence that clarified meaning for us were in the road and in my jumper. So now we're gonna have a go at doing one of these ourselves. Which synonym best replaces the underlying word in the sentence? The damage to his car was superficial. Okay, superficial. If you don't know what superficial means, that doesn't matter because you'll be able to hazard a guess from when we look at the other synonyms and think about their meanings. So we've been given a choice of four. So slight, let's have a look at the meaning of slight. Minimal, not serious, minor. False, fake, not true, dishonest. Artificial, fake, hollow, insincere, shallow, simplistic, empty, hollow. So which out of these, and these are all synonyms for superficial, which out of these do you think is the most appropriate? So false and artificial, if it's not true or it's fake, that suggests that there isn't any damage to talk about. So why would there be a sentence about there being damage? And then shallow, suggests quite hollow, empty. And it could work, but it doesn't quite flow as a sentence. The damage to his car was shallow. That doesn't sound right. So we think it's probably the first one. The damage to his car was slight. So what do we think the meaning of superficial is? So it's on the surface or lacking in depth in character. Let's have a go at another one. So the morning sun was incredibly bright. So our options are promising, happy, gifted, luminous. So let's have a look at each of these words. So favorable, hopeful. Sometimes you do hear people say the future's bright and that suggests it's promising, happy, cheery, joyful, gifted. Very smart and quick. We hear people who are intelligent described as bright. 
And finally, luminous, gives out light, glowing. So when we think of all the synonyms for bright, the one that perhaps makes most sense here is luminous. The morning sun was incredibly luminous. So it's just, it was lighting everything up. And if you're a fan of Harry Potter, you can think about what luminous might mean because of the spell that they say when they want the end of their wand to light up. Lumos. So do think about words and what their origins are, what their histories are to help you or where else you might have heard them used in some way. So our definition of bright, which we know from this, is gives out a large amount of light. And that's it for today's lesson on synonyms in context. Don't forget to have a go at the quiz right after this and I will see you in the next video.